Many of you will have driven round the M25, the world's largest car park. And if you have, you may have driven under a viaduct between junctions 16 and 17, on which some wag has graffitied, give peas a chance, P-E-A-S. Always puts a smile on my face because as a kid I hated peas. This Advent, we remember that God promised to do more than give peace a chance. Instead, he himself actually brought peace to the world by coming as saviour. Isaiah tells us that the promised Messiah would be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. And then he adds, of the greatness of his government and peace, there will be no end. As I was thinking about this promised peace, especially juxtaposed against all the anxiety and division which is rife around us, I was really struck by something I heard on the Dwell app this week. Dwell is like an innovative way of listening to the Bible on your phone. You can check it out. Anyway, the Dwell commentary said this, the world wants us to believe that inner peace is the result of outer calm, but it isn't. Peace is the presence of God in the midst of whatever opposition or chaos we may be surrounded by. The psalmist reminds us of this, saying, Though an army encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war rise up against me, yet will I be confident. Peace, like the little baby in the manger, is a gift of God. Our task is to make dwelling in God's presence a habit and as we do, God will empower us to remain people of peace, even in turbulent times. So we remember that Christ came to establish peace by reconciling us to God through his life, death and resurrection some 2,000 years ago. And we remember also that one day soon, Jesus will return to finish what he started. He will bring in the fullness of his peace when everything in the cosmos is brought under his good and just rule. But in the meantime, even as we remember these things this Advent, we are also invited to enjoy a foretaste of this peace by rooting ourselves in Christ. As we do this, God the Holy Spirit produces peace in us, as well as all the other good fruit of God, like love and joy, all that stuff he promises us. Peace without Christ misses the point Rather, peace is the presence of God in the midst of whatever we face. So as we listen to another great Advent hymn, let's reflect on this and let's determine to dwell with God and in God so that we live as people of peace. The hymn is Come Thou Long Expected Jesus. It's sung by the soloist Jenny Hart, accompanied by Michael Harrison, and is made available to us by the Down and Dromore diocesan team and we thank them. God bless. Oh
Son.